and welcome back to my channel and today I have a really exciting video for you because I'm going to talk about my expat experience, my experience in Germany and more specifically Munich because I have been here now for three and a half years and I think I have quite a lot to share for all the newcomers but also still those that are here. But don't forget to subscribe down to my channel because every subscription really really helps me out and of course if you have any questions, if you like this video, let me know down in the comments as well. I love communicating with you and I love hearing back your feedback and if you have any other uh, video ideas make sure to let me know as well because I'm always open for suggestions but yeah now let's go and get started I have kind of separated this video into six different parts and uh, you will see the different parts as well down in the description below but before I go into the six section I thought I would introduce myself to those that do not know my channel since it is relatively new and uh, talk to you a little bit about how and why I decided to come to Germany so as I mentioned in the introduction I have been in Munich for three and a half years. Although it is quite a considerably long time, the two, two and a half years I spent were during the corona times. So I still consider myself relatively new and I'm still learning a lot of things, a lot of processes. And uh, the reason why I decided to come to Munich was because my boyfriend was from here and we dated long distance for around uh, six months. And it just happened to be that I was in a perfect moment in between jobs, in between my careers and uh, I didn't really know what to do. So I decided to move here. To be honest, when we decided to do that, I didn't really think too deeply, deeply into it. The decision was very quick and I've always been that way with all of my, you know, big life decisions. Now, of course, that comes with a lot of privilege because I have a European passport, I have a Finnish passport. So, of course, I can move to Germany without any big restrictions or big preparations. And that kind of leads to my part one. If you are from the European Union, there is not that much you have to do. Of course, you have to find your uh, apartment or a place to stay. I have uh, made a video about uh, apartment hunting in Munich. I have linked it up here. Make sure to check it out if you're looking for apartments. But if you're not from the European Union, of course, there are many more things you have to consider. You have to get a visa, a job, I only started looking for a job when I already moved here, which was quite risky. But uh, luckily I got it quite quickly, I started teaching tennis. Not that it was my first career choice, but it was the, something that I could do very quickly and easily and I was self-employed, so I could make my own hours. And my tip would definitely be to maybe be a little bit more open for different opportunities. So maybe you might not get the highest pay in the beginning or you might not have your dream career, but I think any step towards coming here is a good step if that's what you want to do and you can still always look for another job look for more opportunities and maybe you even find that uh, what you thought you want to do is not really the thing that you want to do <laughs> that's at least what happened to me of course if you can make take some german lessons learn some language it always helps especially munich or bavaria is quite a conservative region people expect you to speak in german especially if you want to work in like the corporate world or where you're working with people if you can make sure to learn the language of course it's going to come much easier once you're here once you can practice it with the people but still i think making some steps is very very important and as well for me personally i was quite lucky because the culture is very similar to Scandinavia and so I didn't feel the culture shock but if you come from somewhere totally different I think you have to just mentally prepare yourself you know watch uh, German news uh, watch some even TV shows or something that shows you more the culture than you're gonna know if you even want to come here because sometimes you might realize that maybe it is not the place for you part two of this video is actually arriving to Munich arriving to Germany how is the public transportation like etc I also made a video about that actually where I discussed the new 49 euro ticket as well if you are interested click and check that out as well remember that germany is of course a very much car culture so you have a lot of opportunities to buy a car but of course it comes with its cost it's not cheap you have to pay taxes on it if you live in the city you have to pay for parking etc don't forget that munich is actually very bike friendly or germany in general so maybe 
getting a bike is more sustainable for you not only is it good for the environment it's also good for the health so definitely check that out as an option as well but remember that in the winter months it can be quite tricky it rains quite a lot and it's also cold it snows so you cannot rely on it 100% of the time the next important point is the cost of living and uh, keeping up with your lifestyle as I already mentioned living and apartments and in general life in Germany can be quite expensive of course you earn quite good money uh, you earn good salaries but a lot of it goes for taxes a lot of it goes for health insurance rent prices are very high almost no one can afford to buy a place so it is something to consider as well consider your lifestyle do you go out a lot uh, you know drinking alcohol is expensive do you like to eat out in restaurants it's also not that cheap do you like to go to parties you know do you do many activities gyms uh, hobbies all of that has to be taken into the consideration because of course that's uh, gonna cost money but the good thing is that there are a lot of like family events there are a lot of things to do in Munich you also have beautiful nature around you you have the Alps and it's all within you know an hour's reach with a car or with the public transport depends of course a little bit where you are the next part is that uh, finding a job in Munich can be quite tricky as I mentioned if you can do it as early as possible before you have even arrived uh, but a lot of the places or most places actually require you to have at least some kind of a basic knowledge of German you have to know you know German customs and you have to know how things work here personally for me it took months even actually two years to get the job that I really like and that I'm happy I changed my jobs every like six months in the first few years of course corona didn't help but I think in general like I said you have to be open to take some jobs that are not maybe your dream things but you have to eat you have to earn money so that's it, but keep your mind open you know there are many agencies that can help you out uh, there is a lot of websites that you can look at and just keep applying frivolously and I know sometimes it is very frustrating to get a no answer so often but you only need one yes so keep a positive outset but I have to say once you do get the job that you like the work-life balance in Munich or Germany is really really good most typical full-time jobs are around 40 hours you get minimum 25 days of vacation most companies offer 30 days of vacation or around 30 days so you have a really good balance and as well Fridays a lot of the times are shorter and uh, you really see that people enjoy their life outside of work the next thing to consider if you're not moving along and if you're moving with kids or if you're planning to have kids is how the healthcare and education system works and i think it is a great place health insurance is mandatory for everyone and the costs really depend on your life situations on your earning if you are a student you pay a very minimal amount but of course the higher you earn the more it is but at least you get a lot for your health insurance i I haven't had any problems with any of my doctors. I even had an emergency surgery actually in the first few months of me arriving to Germany and um, you know I got great care and I was very very thankful for the care that I got. And the same can be said about education. University fees are very very low, schools, uh, public schools are very affordable as well. The level of education is great and that's why we have so many students from all over the world in Germany coming and enjo to enjoy this beautiful system and last but not least I think as part of feeling at home is also that you have your community that you make friends and that is something that I personally really struggled with from my experience I found that people in Germany mostly only mostly are not really open or they're not really looking for friends if they are from the city where they live they have childhood friends they have work friends and they kind of have their own groups already but don't be discouraged there's a very big expat community and as i said there's a lot of different events where you can meet different expats and it happens to be that most of my friends are foreigners from somewhere else i think germans just trying to kind of keep their own way um they have a little bit of a harder shell to break but at the same time they are very friendly and if uh, you do happen to get into the group I think you will stay there forever because their friendships are very very tight in conclusion do I think it is worth for you to come to Germany is it a good place to live yes and no of course there is no definitive answer and I cannot really tell you what you want 
I know people that absolutely love Germany and would love to stay here forever and I know others that struggle and haven't really found their place. In my opinion the most important thing is to keep an open mind. Personally for now I know that we are planning to stay in Germany for at least a few next years and to be honest I wouldn't mind if I had to grow old here. And yeah thank you so so much for watching and I will see you again next week. Yeah.